Bioshock, Bioshock, Bioshock. I could not put this game down this week, and uh, I'll go over kind of what it is. Is it is it horror? Is it adventure? Is it creepy? Days go by like wind. Yes. A little weird. Yeah. I'll give it all of it. <laughs> You can do pretty much anything. The game is fairly linear, but you do have a lot of options to explore in between kind of the main quest. You can almost call it, a, I mean, everything is a main quest, but there's a lot of these little uh, voice recorder boxes that tells the story along with uh, what is being narrated uh, in the present time. So you'll get some good combat like this, and you'll get a few creepy moments like I showed earlier. I would say I probably got a good, decent jump scare uh, three or four times where I actually almost threw my mouse off my desk, but um, combat is fairly solid. It's not, you know, like Battlefield uh, or like Call of Duty tight or anything like that, but it's it's fun. The, the weapons are fun. You can upgrade them and do stuff like, like this. Just makes you feel cool, so that's always a plus. Um, one thing to consider if you have a problem um, with harvesting children, you might not be into this game, so keep that into consideration. <laughs> but no, that is part of the game. On you, your character survives on stuff called Adam and Eve, and uh, it, it is a key element. And I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, you will have to eat some kids. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and you can uh, get a little. A little tipsy if you want to in the game. <laughs> Actually, it's more of uh, a side effect of just looting crates too fast and <laughs> just spamming E until you pick up everything. Uh, but uh, that's that's kind of the, the general gist. Uh, it does have some decent PC settings. If you guys saw my last video, you know I was pretty frustrated with just getting the stupid thing to work, but I'm glad I didn't give up. Uh, and I just want to maybe reiterate that to uh, you guys out there if you're kind of on the fence still about getting the game. I actually just went and bought the uh, the full triple pack on Amazon and then gave away another uh, copy <laughs> of Bioshock 1 to a, a guy that was streaming. Uh, so I'm going to be playing through Bioshock 2 and Infinite. So anyway, the game, what do I think? Uh, some of it's kind of simple and, and some of it's kind of complicated. Like this combat right here pretty easy to shock the guy blasted him in the face but other times feels like it's a little overwhelming in trying to pick and choose what what uh, tactic you're gonna use uh, is kind of kind of tricky at first but once you get the hang of it it's good and you have this wonky method of hacking quote unquote hacking things is playing the pipe game from Windows 95 like this game and then uh, Another way you can do research and level up is through taking pictures of stuff. That kind of got old kind of fast. It, I think they changed that uh, in the more recent Bioshock, so <laughs> just be prepared to be a little bit of a photographer to level up some of your abilities. And uh, other than that, some of the AI is also kind of dumb. <laughs> I, it, it's part of the game to be able to do that, but uh, it, it can be kind of, kind of comical at times. But anywho, uh, all of that aside, story's great. Um, it did get me uh, a little scared every once in a while, and uh, it was a good adventure all at the same time. So, highly recommend you guys check it out, and thanks for watching the video, and I'll talk to you guys later.